Welcome to my video. This video is for chapter 3, Partnership in a Dissolution. So, what you can learn in Partnership Dissolution? Upon completion of this chapter, you should be able to understand the reason of dissolution in partnership and what is the corresponding accounting treatment when you have a dissolution in your partnership. So, let's start. Reason of dissolution. What is dissolution? It means that you want to close your partnership. So what is the reason? What are the reasons that a partnership may want to close? First, end of the partnership agreement. Second, retirement or debt of partners. Disagreement among partners or poor business or making loss for a long period. So those are the reasons that the partnership they may want to close up dissolution so during the close close off of partnership you need to prepare one account this account is called dissolution account unlike to your chapter 2 when you have new partner or leaving of partner we use revaluation re account during the dissolution we use dissolution account so what is dissolution account dissolution account also known as realization account will be created to find out the profit or loss during the dissolution of partnership. Of course, when the partnership want to close off, you need to figure out how much that the partner can get from the partnership during the close of partnership or the partner have to top up the money in order to close the partnership. Any profit or loss rising from the dissolution will be transferred to the partner's capital account. So here I list out the step and the double entry for you during the dissolution of partnership. So for easy presentation, we use Excel to type the answer. So step one. So when you have dissolution, the first step is what? You have to transfer the asset or liability. Sorry, to transfer the asset to the dissolution account. And take note, asset for cash or bank so during the transfer of asset we debit the dissolution account and credit to asset account so the asset could be property inventories track receivables and so on and take note cash or bank balance no need to transfer in the dissolution account next after you transfer all the asset to the dissolution account step two transfer the partner's current account to partner's capital account so when your current account is on a debit balances we debit the capital account and credit to current account when the current account is on a credit balances, we debit the current account and credit to the capital account. Step 3. After you transfer the current account balances to the capital account, we have to record the amount of obtained from the sale of asset or collection of funds. So we back to step 2. Why you need to transfer the amount from current account to capital account? Because as we explained previously, current account is used to show the transaction between the partners and the partnership. Since the company plan to close off, it means that in future, they will not have any transaction between the partner with the partnership. So all the current account balances shall transfer to the partner's capital account. This treatment is very similar to the withdrawal of partner in the chapter 2 exercise. We also transfer the current account balances to the capital account when the partner is leaving. So this treatment is very similar to the in the dissolution cases. So we back to step 3. Record the amount obtained from sale of asset or collection of fund. So when you sell the asset, when you collect the fund from the receivable, what you can get? You can get money, right? So we debit the bank or cash account. And this credit will go to the solution account. This credit will go to the solution account. 
Step 4. Record the asset taken over by partner, if any. So this step 4 also similar to chapter 2 example, when the partners taking the asset from the, from the partnership. So during the taken over situation, we shall debit the capital account for partner and credit to the dissolution account. Next, step 5. Record the dissolution expenses, if any. So if any is that, means that if you have this, you need to record. If you don't have the dissolution expenses, you don't need to record. So what is the dissolution expenses? So dissolution expenses is paid to the professional to help you sell the asset or to prepare the last financial statement. It means that to prepare the account for the closing of partnership. So of course you won't ask the people help you for free right so you need to pay a fee so this fee we can consider as dissolution expenses so when you have dissolution expenses how you record you debit the dissolution account and credit to bank or cash why bank or cash because you make payment to them so we credit a bank and cash account and debit goes to dissolution Next, step six. You need to record the payment of liability if you have. If there is any discount received, you need to recognize in your dissolution account. So liability. When we pay the liability, means liability in decrease. So we have to debit the liability account. So what are the example of the liability account? This can be loan. This can be your trade payables, if, if any and credit credit goes to the bank or cash why because when you make payment to your liability your loan borrower or to the trap payables your cash and bank will reduce when your cash and bank reduce we credit the bank and cash account and another credit goes to the solution account so in what circumstances we need to record the dissolution account when there is a discount for the payment of liabilities so when you have a discount for the payment of liability we record the discount in the dissolution account step 7 we have to balance the dissolution account and transfer to capital account so how you transfer you based on the existing profit sharing ratio so when you have a dissolution profit we debit the dissolution account and credit goes to capital account of the partner on the other hand when you're making a loss in your dissolution we debit the capital account and credit to the dissolution account so this direction is very similar to your revaluation gain remember in chapter 2 when you have a revaluation gain you have to debit the revaluation account and credit goes to capital and if you're making a loss on the revaluation you will debit the capital account and credit goes to revaluation account so the direction is is the same just that they change the account name and lastly step 8 so you once you have done all the transaction the next one is you need to pay the remaining cash to the partner step 8 transfer the cash and bank balances to partner's capital account as a repayment of capital so you will debit the capital account and credit goes to bank or cash so by taking the last transaction by right all of your ledger should be closed your bank should have nothing left it means that the bank balance is zero and the capital you have fully paid to your partner so this is the step when you prepare the dissolution for a partnership so let's stop here for a while in the next video i'm going to show you a one example so this is classroom exercise 3.1 letter. So thanks for watching.